Okay, so hi, how are you guys doing today? Good. Good? Perfect, thank you. So the, uh, uh, it's Friday, right? Um, is it still raining outside? Yeah. Almost, oh, almost. Yeah. oh, it's a little bit? Oh, hopefully it ends. Um, if we, uh, can I go? So, uh, once again, uh, we've been doing a review uh, from Wednesday, I think. So, uh, we'll have a review today and also another one on Monday as well. Uh, so we still have a uh, quite a time to do review, um, so we can be fully ready for the exam. Okay. So let's move on to <coughs> the <coughs> question we could try for the exam. So uh, here's the thing: uh, we have observed rotation was uh, sixty. Six degree, and then a specific rotation of the compound is uh, plus three okay, here, and then the test length was about ten centimeters. What is the concentration of the compounds? That's the question. Uh, so maybe I'll give you uh, one or two minutes, and maybe you can tell me the concentration. Is that top one six degrees? Yeah, this is six, oh. yes. So observe the rotation with six degree uh, from polaroid right. And then uh, the specific rotation of the compound was uh, three. The test length we used was 10 centimeters. Um, and then uh, what might be the number for concentration? <coughs> Okay, just one minute now. Okay, so um, I hope you guys remember this one here. The specific rotation would be three. Okay, and then they should be equal to your observed rotation with the six. And it will be divided by two factors, that is the concentration and then path length. Uh, but the path length is a uh, unit of decimeter, which is equal to one decimeter is equal to 10 centimeters. So this is a 10 centimeter here, so one decimeter. So I'm going to switch this one to one decimeter here. So you can solve for x, which is the uh, concentration gram per mil, or you can say gram per centimeter cube, they're the same thing, right? Uh, and then you can look for this one. What's the number? Do you guys know? Yeah. Two, perfect. That's it? What would be the units mm -hmm. for the concentration? The gram per mil or gram per centimeter cube. <clears throat> Makes sense, right? So, if uh, maybe I'll do one more. <coughs> if you have uh, observed rotation with the twelve, okay, and the past length was twenty centimeter, okay, <coughs> and then your concentration is four gram per mil. What might be the specific rotation? Maybe one or two minutes.
Okay, let's do this together. So once again, say, well, I'm going to put this, the number, observe the rotation on the top. So I'm going to divide this number by these two. So that's the multiple of these two. This is 4 gram per mil times uh, 20 centimeter. Am I correct? No, perfect. This would be too perfect to do this. Okay, so make sure you guys do the unit uh, all uh, in the right unit. Okay. So if you do this, this is the same as 12 over 8. Okay, it's 12 over 8, right? So this is the same as 3 over 2. So it'll be what? What's the uh, answer? 1.5. Okay, you got the you got the answer. Make sense, right? Can I move on? Okay. Perfect. Let's move on. Okay. Okay. Next one was okay. So try to remember Connie Gold Prelog Convention. Uh, rule here. So based on this one here, which one will be highest priority here? Okay. This is number one. This is number two. This is number three. This. This is number four. What's is the, the highest priority groups following the cunning goal pillar rules? <clears throat> so what do you guys think? Is it two, three, or four, or one? Is it four? Four? Uh, okay. So the that's tricky. I totally understand. Uh, I, I know why you choose number four, because the Bromine has highest in the atomic number. Uh, but the thing is, the uh, when you do this one, so if you look at this one very closely, okay. Okay. this is actually what it looks like. So the first thing you need to consider on the groups is the first one. So it'll be two. Uh, the yeah, that's true. Because uh, the this the so highest atomic numbers in the the first element attached to the carbon is the nitrogen, oxygen, oxygen, carbon, right? So the oxygen is the highest one. Okay. So these two are tied, and then you go. So it's one hydrogen, but carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. So carbon is higher in atomic number than hydrogen. Even though these two, first one, is tied, but this will be the top one. <coughs> Does it make sense? So uh, because of this carbon, this is not the top priority groups. Uh, if I give you this one, yes, number four is the top priority. But uh, because of the carbon, uh, it was okay. makes sense, right? Okay. So the okay. Go. So it's the atomic mm -hmm. mass of the first atomic number. Oh, oh, atomic oh, number. Oh, yeah. You can do atomic mass too. It's almost same anyway. Okay. But uh, uh, normally we use atomic number. Uh, okay. But if you use atomic mass, it should be the same. Almost okay. Same. So of the first element in mm -hmm. the column. Okay. The first one element, they are attached to your chiral center. So the heaviest, the heaviest one, or the one with the highest number, is the most prioritized. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good. Very good. Okay. So if I give you this one and I choose the lowest one, which is the lowest one? Then? Perfect. Because of the carbon. 
All right, good. Let's go on. Makes sense, right? Can I move on? Good. <clears throat> good job. And does this help? Mm -hmm. Does this help you mm -hmm. determine the like priority? Yeah. Like, RS like, configuration. Like, Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. That that's correct. Yes. Okay. So uh, we'll get there soon. Uh, but before we get there, uh, can you guys draw Louis structure of this one? Carbonate. <clears throat> Louis Okay, maybe one or two more minutes more. So draw the, the resonance structure of the carbon. <clears throat> Not Lewis structure, resonance structure. So the question is the which one is the center atom? Carbon. carbon, perfect. Carbon. So I'm gonna put the carbon in here at the center. I'm gonna put three oxygen around it, around the carbon here. And then uh, I'm gonna do this one to make it has two negative four more charge. So then I'm gonna assign the three lone pair on those two oxygen, but only I'm sorry, three uh, lone pairs, but this uh, two on this one oxygen. So if you look at this one over here, it has one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's totally good. If you look at this one, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's why it's negative charge. It has more than, because uh, it's a group six, now it's seven. So it's uh, one negative charge because it's uh, additional electron. Same here. And then if you look at the carbon over here, it has one, two, three, and four. So it's a group four element, it's, it's good. So we now have a loose structure of this one. But the thing is the, uh, you can have a two, two out of three oxygen can have a each negative charge, each additional electron here. But it could be these two or these two. So you never know, right? Which oxygen, which two oxygen out of three will carry the negative charge. Uh, this is why we some we sometimes use resonance hybrid form. Um, so <clears throat> so if we do this all together, uh, if we hybrid all, uh, what it becomes is the um, you have a carbon here. Oxygen here, and we put we assign the two negative charge on each oxygen. We don't do it on carbon because, the, as you know, the oxygen is more highly electronegative. So it would be very unnatural if the carbon carries the negative charge there. So we don't we only assign the negative charge on the oxygen. But but there's two out of three, so that's why we will put two third on. So in total, it still has uh, negative two charge. Uh, so if you can do this, uh, that would be great. Okay, because you know the, how you can do the resonance structure in hybrid form as well. That'd be a good way to express the what it looks like. Um, so as you know, <coughs> if you look at the negative two third, uh, which is not very, you know, like a material-like expression, right? Uh, so, uh, if you guys remember this, we use a uh, probability again to uh, get the electron charge, electron density. 
So in this case, we say the leptons are delocalized. Do you guys remember this? Delocalized means you cannot lo you cannot ro locate the electron anymore when it's delocalized because there's no such a thing that is the you know point six six electron because electron should be the minimum unit of uh, that matter. So you can split the electrons, but it does because it's delocalized. We're using not splitting the electron, we're just using the tens. So you can explain probability of finding electron not. Does it make sense? Good, okay, okay, I'll just move. <clears throat> All right, let's move on. But only thing you have to know for the exam is just the draw the uh, resonance structure, that's it, okay? You don't, yeah. The other thing I said is just for your understanding. <clears throat> so the next one, oh. so I'll give you about one minute. Can you guys name this one? Okay. Try to name this compound. Okay. About one minute. Okay. <clears throat> this is cycle IK. They're all single bond. No, they're carbons, but they also have the ring structure. So we call this cyclo cyclic compound. <coughs> cyclo <-I. coughs> Okay, thirty seconds. I will do this. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so the the what what is our base here? The base is right here, right? Perfect. Cyclohexane, great. Absolutely correct. Uh, because we have a, this in ring structure, we have a six carbon, so we put hexane, but it's in the ring, so we put cyclo. So not not just hexane, but cyclohexane, right? And then also we have a three uh, prefix. And you need to put the locant to locate where they are on your base. Okay. So to do that, uh, we just try to name those each first. Okay. What's this one? There's two carbons to be F. F of one. Good, right. This is the one one to be. F of one. Good, right. Perfect. So then uh, the problem is now how are we gonna count the carbon from here or here? What do you think? Or to the left or to the right? Clockwise. Right? Yeah, perfect. Because the, in that way, you can give this number, right? One, two, four. So that will be lower number than one, four, six. Right? Makes sense, right? So mm -hmm. we'll number in this way, not this way. Okay? And also, we get a number from here. Why? E comes first, then M in alphabetical order. So I wanna start here if it's possible, okay? Make sense, right? So then I'm gonna put one, one, ethyl, and then there's a two and four, right? So it'll be two and comma, okay? Not two methyl, okay? Two comma and four, and methyl, methyl, Cyclo hexane. Am I right? Dimethyl. Yeah. What was it? It's, it's dimethyl. Right? Perfect. Correct. So make sure you guys double check always. There could be uh, two or just uh, one. Uh, you make sure you put di or tri or tetra. Okay? So in case we have a two, if you just say if you just say one at all. 2,4 methyl cyclohexane. That's very close, but you lost it by just one, 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 this one mistake, very small mistake. Uh, that's very, you know, kind of a bad, right? So make sure you got everything here, right? So um, this is the uh, something, okay? So the, yeah, go ahead. So you said that the guy mm -hmm. didn't count for the alpha. 
perfect, perfect. So, so here we we put the diamethyl here, right? But we still put this later than E, right? Because the di or tri or tetra, we're not counting the alphabetical order. Perfect. You guys remember this, right? Okay. Perfect. That's a very good question. Very good. So the let me try. Try one more. So for that, for that one, oh, oh, we I think we, we did this one before. Oh yeah, we did this. Yeah. So let's try to the this one. Okay, we have a. So try to find the chirality center in this compound. I'll give you about two or three minutes. Try to find the chirality center in this compound. If you can get this one right, uh, you are master of finding a chiral center in the compound. I promise you. So many points you need to check. It will take some time. Okay, okay one minute. <clears throat> okay, so the okay. First of all, chiral and I should have four different groups on carbon. Okay, so and the. Try to remember this one, okay? Try to remember this one. So uh, let's check this one first. Is this chiral center? It has one, two, three. No. One, two, three, that's it, right? So it's not. Here, we have uh, two different groups here, but two same hydrogen implied there. You don't see it, but this hydrogen, so we don't show it here. But this is different groups. This is different groups here, this carbon. But it has the same two hydrogen attached to it. So this is not a chirogen either. Okay? And this carbon here has, oh, maybe, I'm sorry, I drew it this way. It will be still the same. So. No, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I was right. So if you look at this one here, this is one, two, three, right? So this is not a chiral center. Same here, one, two, three, not four, okay? Does it make sense? So this carbon here, this carbon has also one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three here, not four. So it, those are ones that have only three bonding because they have one double bond. So when carbon has double bond, it cannot be chiral center. So anyway, the one, two, three. So this is also no. One, two, three, no. One, two, three, no. One, two, three, no. And this carbon has one group over here, but what? Three hydrogen. So they are the same groups. So this is no. Make sense, right? 
And this carbon, same. One, two, three. Okay. This is a one group here, but the three same hydrogen tetrate, so this is no. Okay. How about this carbon? It has one group, the other carbon uh, groups, but two same hydrogen. So this is no. Okay. Like I said, these two cannot be chiral it's double bond. This one has three hydrogens. So this is also cannot be chiral center. This one has two hydrogen. Cannot be chiral center, right? Same here, two hydrogen. And this one has one, two, three. So there's no chiral There's no So if I ask you to find the chiral center in this compound, you should say zero. Because there's no chiral center. Okay. Makes sense, right? So it can't be mm -hmm. a double bond? I thought like if mm -hmm. there was a double bond, mm -hmm. you would count it twice. Like, uh, oh, that's for cunning gold group. Whenever you prioritize the groups, uh, you can use that the double bond is cunning too. Uh, so, yeah. so if you have uh, th this group here, this group here, you count as OOO, not OO. Or you're prioritizing this carbon. Is it because it's mm -hmm. to technically go into the part? Box, part, it? yes. Okay. But uh, yeah. Okay. Can I move on? All right. Just do great. Uh, all right. Let's do. Let's do the slightly easier one. Okay, so So find the compound that has a chiral center. So it'll be like a multiple choice. I'll ask you to find the, the compound that has a chiral center. <clears throat> so this will be maybe one, two, three. I don't think so. Uh, I mean, if you just know how to do the find the chiral center, so just find the carbon that has four different groups. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'll give you about two minutes. So you just need to find the, the that has the carbon that has four different groups, that's it. <clears throat> okay, one minute. <coughs> you got these Maybe ones. someone already got the answer. Oh, great. <laughs> All right, so what's the answer? Four. Four, very close. I under, and understand why you choose four, uh, but what else? Is it three? Uh -huh. Is it three now? Uh, very close to. None. Two. Two. I don't see two. Any. two. I, but if you choose four and three, I totally understand why. Uh, because of the these two groups. This center here, so you have uh, implied hydrogen here, four group here. You have uh, two different groups on here. But the problem is they are the same. They're like, yeah. So that's the problem. So it cannot be chiral compound. Uh, this one, same here. You, you're probably looking at this carbon, I assume. But this is also has implied hydrogen here, another group here and here. 
But what's the problem again? They're saying. Okay? Uh, wait, can, you mm -hmm. can't like stretch out one of those mm -hmm. circles and like, what about that other carbon that wasn't included in that circle? The, like, which one? This one? The one that you didn't go over to the left, the left. left. Like the one that you didn't, I'm sorry. The yeah. one you didn't You can come here, point. Okay, here. yeah. There you go. Oh gosh, okay. It's okay. What about? <laughs> Like this one, uh -huh. like where you can like circle that one, mm -hmm. and then have two here, so uh -huh. it's like different groups. They're different groups, yes. So this mm -hmm. still isn't a parallel. The the it, oh thank you. Oh, I, I, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yes, oh, no, it's okay. that's that's very good question. It's a very good question. Uh, so if if you wanna make this uh, chiral this carbonate chiral center, there's one more thing you need to do. Uh, that is this one. So if you want to make that, this carbon is a implied hydrogen here, right? Only, only one thing you have to do is you have to make here. Oh, okay. So then you have uh, different groups on these two. Makes sense, right? Because the same here. If you want to do something here, only thing you have to do this. Then you have two different groups now. There's a three carbon two, and all single bond. Or yeah, makes sense, right? See, okay. So that was a very close one, but uh, still a card. So uh, what about number one? It has uh, three hydrogen, cannot be double bond. No, 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 no. Okay. You see that, right? Yeah. A different length carbon chain counts as a different group. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah even I though it's a ring. That. I that. Oh, you got it. Okay. Good. So this is not chiro here, but it is. It's, it's. Or you can do floral, bromo, as long as it makes these two different. Yeah, good. Perfect. All right, but uh, here, uh, if you look at this one, it's different. So if you look at from here. You see it's absolutely different. So the uh, number two is dense. Okay. Does it make sense? You good? All right. Does it does it make sense? You good? Yeah. Very okay. Let's go. <clears throat> All right. Let's get the grid so far. Okay. So let's try to do something to the ion configuration now because we kind of know how to find the chiral center now. Then the next job is, okay, you have a chiral center, what's the configuration of it? Is it R? That's the question. Okay, can you guys uh, find the chiral center and also do R's configuration? So we are almost done with the review, uh, but we have a, some more. But I'll finish, finish them on Monday. So this might be the uh, the last one we're gonna try today. But uh, I will have another uh, review session on Monday. So maybe you can uh, try to study for exam over weekends. And if you have any question by Monday, just you can ask me on Monday. So we can be even more fully uh, prepared for the exam. Okay, so let's do this together. So where is the Kyrie Center? It's here, right? You see? It's, it should be here. Okay, good, perfect. So we have a Kyrie Center, four different groups on this carbon here. And then uh, try to find out the R or S configuration. You need to prioritize those four different groups now on this carbon. So you have a nitrogen over here, which is obviously number one, perfect. But the problem is, once again, it has a two type group, which is carbon here and carbon here. Okay, so in this case, uh, as you asked today, 
this double bond count as two. So it'll be this carbon has O O O, not O O. Okay. So it'll be O O O. Okay. And this carbon has carbon, carbon, and what? You don't see it here. Perfect. You need to always assume there's hydrogen implied there because we don't normally show the hydrogen uh, here. Anyway, so if we have a hydrogen over here, then this will be carbon, carbon, hydrogen. So which one is a higher? Obviously, O, 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 right? Makes sense, right? So this will be two, this will be three. Okay. So in this way, this will be number four, obviously. So if you go this way, right? One, two, three. You always do one, two, three. Okay. And the, luckily, we have number four is already heading back. This is a dashed line, right? So we, we just looking at the compound where we're supposed to be looking at to find out the RS configuration. Because your number four should be heading the, where you're looking at, okay? Make sense, right? So if you just do this, this is the counterclockwise. So it will be perfect. perfect. So if I change this one to uh, this way, it should be R perfect. Because now you need to look this one not here, but here. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's uh, stop here today. And then let's do extra credit. Okay. <clears throat>